Alright guys, it is Tuesday. This place is a friggin' mess. I'm tripping over a belt. Why you wanna? Why you gotta? Oh yeah, listen to that song. But uh, yeah, I swear to God, I think I pretty much trashed this place last night, wouldn't you say? Wow. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I got off the phone with the uh, UPS this morning. They're pretty damn confused in why it got shipped back to me. So, uh, they need to get their shit together. But, uh, I'm a little bit lost on this. I'm a little bit confused myself on why there is no mouse nest in this damn little motor. Maybe the mice were just hanging out or something. I mean, there's no nest. Maybe they were just living in the air filter. I don't know. I don't know. I was all, like, freaking out last night, thinking that there was going to be, like, another mouse or something in there, and... You know, it was like over here and like, you know, last thing I could do is something to pop out at me. I don't know what the deal is. I don't. But, uh, let me get this thing fired up this morning. Try and do a little bit of work on it before I chop it up. Uh, gotta just strip that barbecue down so I can pop the aluminum off of it. Uh, what do we got in here this morning? We gotta clean this place up. I think I'm gonna bring the uh, doors in. Start doing a little bit of work on them. Stuff like that. But uh, hopefully uh, the mice are evicted for the night. Or they evicted last night. I don't know. Guess I'll we'll have to wait and see and only soon to find out. Watch they'll be in my friggin' Husqvarna. My Briggs, Briggs and Stratton motor. That would piss me right off. But uh... Yeah, so... I gotta do a little bit of uh, cleaning up in here first. Well, I'll get that motor going and then we'll go from there. Uh, but yeah. Wow. Only yesterday a bit. I didn't think it was gonna be that long yesterday. Uh, dude, I do beg my pardon. But the video is kinda long. I usually don't make videos that long. But I just happen to have it, you know. But uh, yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. So uh, we're gonna get to work this morning. It's about 10.30, I think. 10.30, I think. We'll, we'll, go, we'll say 10.30 right now. And, uh, let's get to work. Wow. This place is just a wreck. Damn. Alright, time for an update. I don't even know where I last left off at, but, uh, let's think, and think here. Oh, yeah. So, this morning, the shop was a complete mess. I've, uh, cleaned that up, as you can definitely see. And, uh, we got the doors in now. So... I uh, was able to finish chopping up, uh, well, didn't finish chopping up the Scotch tractor. The Scotch tractor, I gotta figure out what's up with the starter. Uh, at first it started sending like a relay code, because apparently that one's got like a computer in it, and it just kept on saying service now, something like that. And uh, I was able to pass, pass by that, but the starter, uh, it doesn't want to, like the starter will spin, but it won't go up, so I'm imagining probably the starter thing you stuck or something like that, so I have to whack it with a hammer or something like that just to get it going. So I just stuck it out in the uh, the tarp chamois there. I'll work on that another day. Actually no, I stuck it out here when I'm thinking. But uh, as you can see we've got the doors in. Get the doors in. Uh, as you can see I also picked up the stands from my uncle there. Friggin two of the four stands I grabbed were broken, so go figure. Um, but I've already got the two suicide doors all stripped apart pretty much as well as I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull off this last little plastic piece right here and uh, probably pull off this guy too. And uh, pretty much we'll be good to go. I've already pulled off the, uh, the pinstriping that was here. Um, got the door rubbers off, got the window trim off, uh, as you can see underneath here. I get all the papery shit off and all that good stuff. So, yeah, we're just getting there. Uh, I'll probably leave the the uh, little trim pieces on. Uh, I mean, it's not going to bother me. Uh, this door here, I have a feeling was replaced at one time because this door is really clean. Like there is not a spot of rust on it, um, not anywhere on this door. It just looks really clean. And I noticed the tabs were different when it popped up the trim. These ones are blue, the other ones are white. So this door is definitely in a lot better shape than this one. Oop, we're on autofocus here. You gonna focus? There we go. Maybe a little bit. Um, 
So it shouldn't be too too bad to get these doors uh, sanded up. I got a small dent right there, but I'll just leave it. Maybe, maybe, maybe just hit it with a little bit of son of a bitch there. Bondo shit. And uh, this is the one bad suicide door here. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little bit of little bit of bubbleage. Camera's not picking it up, but it's right in here. Uh, it's not too too bad. Same on the other side. It's just a little rusty. So I'm gonna sandblast it. I got my little bead blaster thing. Sandblast it up, and I'm gonna go uh, truck bed coating from like from here up. And then all what I'll do is I'll spray spray a little bit of truck bed coating. Probably kind of so right where they already have the line, which is right about there. And this will just get all truck bed coated the same on this one here. You know, I don't really like using the chip guard stuff. I've used it on a few tractors, but it seems that the, uh, the truck bed coating lasts a lot longer than that stuff. So, I just got done scraping all the uh, window poop off. So that's all off. These are the trim pieces that went around it. I'll put some new glue and shit on there, so that's no big deal, you know. But it's uh, looking pretty good. Uh, as for the fender over here, I got to do. Uh, I'll have to have my dad pop the fender flare off because uh, he seemed to master it pretty good yesterday. He had no problem popping them on and popping them off. I thought they'd be. Able to, I thought Pisser told me that they'd be really hard to pop off, and I should just spray over them, but. He seemed to have no problem, and it just popped right off no problem, so go figure. Uh, I gotta get the pinstripe off, gotta get this emblem off, because this isn't the right emblem. I have a Ford F-150, it says XLT, Triton V8, uh, this one just says F-150, Triton V8, you know. Make it look a little bit decent. I got one little dent right there, that's no big deal. Bang that out pretty good, and there's another dent right up here. No big deal, bang it out. A little bit of bubbleage down below here, no big deal. Like I said, I'll just hit this side with the wire brush and, uh, you know, Bondo, well, not Bondo, uh, truck bed coating down. Um, this is the one bad door that has a little bit of rust on it. Uh, pretty common on the Fords, they all break at this one seam. Uh, I'm just gonna literally probably just grind her down. And uh, bond it right over it. I'm not going to pull the window out. I'm not going to pull the door rubbers off on this one. I'm just going to keep it simple. This is the driver's side door. Uh, it's got a little bubbleage right there and right there, but that's no big deal. Uh, that's kind of the reason why I got the doors because they just were really clean. I mean, these are the probably cleanest doors I've seen within about a hundred mile radius from my house. Let's just put it that way. Um, this door here, like I said, I think this was the replaced door. This door was replaced, and I think this door was replaced at one time, because like I said, this door is like brand new, not a spot of rust on it. Um, so yeah, oh, and I gotta pop off the uh, door handles as well, so I can change out the lock system. But this one still has all the trim in it. The trim on these ones were beige, mine are gray, we're gonna swap the trim out and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but that's what I got going on. Uh, like I said, this is probably going to be about a three to four day project. Hopefully Saturday or Sunday. Pop the doors on. I was hoping to go up to Laconia this weekend, but I don't think that's going to happen. I was going to meet up with uh, Corvair Wild there. I was going to meet up with him, but I don't think I'll be going. If I do, I'd be very surprised. But, uh... Yeah, so that's what I got going on. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty warm out too. Tractor still sitting right there. Here's a little bit of a grass update for you. Yeah, pretty green. So. Fender flares are up there, I gotta bring those in eventually. And uh Yeah. That's what I got going on guys. So I guess uh for the next little week here we're playing uh Mr. Pisser, I guess. I don't know. Should probably copyright his title like how he has a little uh, alligator there that says Russ, maybe I'll 
pull that up from him and uh, I'll put this at the beginning of the video or something or the beginning of tomorrow's video. That'd be pretty funny. Gotta have to uh, probably blur out the YouTube thing that he's got going because friggin' if Google AdSense sees that onto my account, they'll just cancel my partnership. So don't want that to happen because I think that's what actually happened with him. It wasn't excessive clicking. I think it was. Uh, because of the copyright of his YouTube badge um, that was at the beginning there. You know, went out to make this in the left hand corner or the right hand corner if you're looking at it. Uh, you'll see it and it says YouTube and you really can't have that on YouTube. Um, there's another guy on YouTube called the Fat Aussie Bastard and uh, he got, he was lucky enough that he was able to pull the YouTube down, the YouTube sign down. Yeah, he was able to get his partnership back which he got very lucky. But, yeah, got doors, wow, someone could not have painted this one right, hmm. anyone see what's going on here, it's like a, like a bow kind of, holy, I just happened to notice that one, <laughs> it's like a complete bow, so, luckily I'm not doing uh, two-tone, my doors are just going straight, uh, straight, metallic blue paint code LL maybe eventually I'll do like a silver silver down and then something like that when I get the box replaced but like I said yes I ain't happy about that box I'll tell you that thing but anyway I'm gonna get back to work probably strip uh, this door down and that door down and uh, different things like that oh yeah alright break time for me I just noticed I gotta charge this camera cause it's about to die but uh Oh yeah, we got a little bit of rust, but it's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be a whole lot worse. Pretty much what I might do is probably just cut this piece out and uh, just pop a new patch in. I mean, all the way up in here is solid, so all I got to do is just create a piece, bend it up into the arc, and you know, a little piece there, and then up, and then pretty go right up past that hole there, and go right down with it. Probably start it right about here. Seems pretty solid up in here. You know, just on it out. And probably end it right here because this seems to be a pretty good solid point right there. And go bzz, bzz. this isn't a rod hole, it's a pre drill hole or something. Just right from that hole, all the way to where this hole is. Up, oh, create a patch, and we'll be golden. I thought this door was going to be a lot worse than what it is, actually. I thought for sure this door was going to be a lot worse, actually. But it seems to be pretty good. So, time to create a patch. Let's see if I got any sheet metal laying around, which I don't think I do. Son of a bitch. Alright, so I got pretty much all the doors stripped down. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. Taking those handles out. Not a very fun job, I'll tell you that much. These guys are unbelievable to get out. See the handle. This isn't the right side. The handle goes like that, right? Well, they have it all nice and hidden in there so you can barely even get your fingers in there. That's a very fun task right there of trying to get the uh, the handles out. That probably took a good 45 minutes just to get the handles out. But uh, yeah, got them all out. All the doors are now stripped. No more pinstripes on them. Took the mirrors off. Uh, got all the pieces here. If anyone wants these, by all means, let me know. I might just list them on Craigslist or something. Oh, 50 bucks for the whole entire set. I don't know. Got to recoup some money. Tell you what. But uh, man, I'm, I'm starting to wonder about these mirrors. If uh, this wiring is going to be the same for uh, my truck or not, because this has the blinker set up on it. So I'm gonna have to check that tomorrow for sure. And uh, things like that. But uh, yeah, so. 
this is the uh, one bad door here uh, for the suicide door and it's actually not too too bad uh, like I said a little bubbleage right there and underneath is just a very little bit of rust I'm hoping to clean this all up tonight and uh, probably put a coat of dirt last on the bottom of it um, just all in here a little bit on top here kind of sort of nicked it right there so prep to clean that up with something but um, I mean pretty much I'd say this door here is pretty much all set good to go I couldn't find any bad spots on it where it needs work or anything other than the uh, one spot that's right up here and that's pretty damn small so it's not like it's a major issue I'm going to take a quick 10 seconds to do um, no deep scratches in it so I think I'm golden on the door Actually, that one's a little bit deep I have to do a little something right there and yeah I'll have to do something with that one too that one's a little deep too but uh, this door is pretty much all set the suicide door right here it says that one tiny dent in the bottom of it kind of sort of uh, ground some of it out so that'll just be a quickie too so probably my whole goal is tomorrow I get all the uh, get the two suicide doors this door completely done ready for paint and uh, hopefully I'll also have this one ready I didn't find a piece of metal for it so I'll probably have to run to Home Depot or something tomorrow and uh, just pick up a strip of sheet metal that'll go across there I had some of uh, had some of this stuff which is the galvanized steel but I mean it's kind of sort of thick for what I'm doing it needs to be a little bit thinner so no big deal there it can wait but uh yeah man I can't find any imperfections on this door really which is kind of scary yeah nothing there either so and then the fender that'll be uh, I'll probably shoot the fender uh, the bumper, the two mirrors, and the uh, door handles in one session. Uh, my goal is just to get the doors done at once, and then I'll do the other stuff separate. But, uh, looking pretty good. Looking really good, actually. Should get a lot of the stuff knocked out tomorrow. Ooh, just snowed us too dense. Yeah, got two little dents right there. Boom, boom. Just happened to catch that in the light, so I guess I'll have to fix that. And for some reason, all these four doors, every or at least the two, uh, at least from '99 to 2003, uh, they'll have this one problem. It breaks right there. So I'm not gonna really, like I said earlier, I'm not gonna do too too much with that. But uh, I got all the door molding stripped off of it. I mean, everything's pretty much good to rock. Maybe do a little taping tomorrow and. We'll be good to go. But, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll end the video here, guys. We'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. So until then, keep shitting out your mouth.